Hey guys, Matt Dancho here, and today I am super excited to present to you the top 10 R packages for exploratory data analysis, or EDA. And I'm not here to hold you hostage, so I'm going to give them to you right now. So we're going to talk through 10 different packages, Skimmer, Psych, Coreplot, Performance Analytics, GG Alley, Data Explorer, Summary Tools, Smart EDA, Janitor, Inspect EF. And we're going to use a little bit of the tidyverse with the pipe, but these are the 10 packages right here. Okay. And here's an example of just one of them. This is summary tools. This is uh, number seven uh, or number. Yeah. Number seven that we're going to go through. Uh, and you can see some of the cool stuff you can do with these packages to be able to analyze data very fast. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's get this thing set up so you can get going with us. If you haven't done so already, join the RTIPS newsletter that gets you access to all 86 of my RTIPS. We're working on RTIP 86 today, top 10 EDA packages. I'm in this .r file. There's some data we're going to deal with. That's going to be the iris data set. I'm going to pull that in right here. That's what's contained in this folder. And then these are two, two of the reports that you're going to generate today. Um, so check this out. Here's how this works. Um, first, what you want to do, make sure you have the packages installed. Um, mine are already installed. Then you're going to want to load the libraries. So I'm going to hit Control and Enter here. It's going to load all the libraries for me. Next, I'm going to read in the data set. This is the Iris data set. It pulls it in as a tibble, and you can see it's 150 by 5 columns. We have four numeric columns and then one categorical or character column species. Okay. So let's analyze these. Okay, first one, we're gonna check out the skimmer library. And the skimmer package is amazing because it makes this uh, data summary here that is presented by character type. So you can see here that we've got iris, 150 values, five columns, etc. One of them is character, one of the four of them are numeric. There are no grouping variables that we've added. And then it gives you an analysis by character type. And this is what's really powerful. This is why I like Skimmer so much. I almost use it in every analysis. Character, number of missing, completion rate, 100%. Minimum, min is six, max is 10. Empty and unique, the number of unique ones. There's, there's three different categories in there and so on. Numeric, all of your numeric data is down here. You got again, the a number of missing, the completion rate, but here you've got the mean standard deviation, the, the min, the max, and then the quartiles. So this is the uh, first quartile, the third quartile, and the median. And then you can see a little histogram here. All right, cool. So that's the first one. Next one is from the psych package. This is for descriptive statistics, and it has the describe function. This is a really cool function. So if you come from, say, Python, where there's a describe function, psych has, has virtually the same thing. In fact, this one gives skew and kurtosis in addition to some of the common ones like mean, standard deviation, median, etc. Now, keep in mind, species is a categorical column. That's why we have the asterisks right here. So some of these don't really matter for species. But for the numeric columns, this is an amazing way to check those out. Okay, moving on to the third one, core plot. This is one of my favorites, and I haven't. I don't use core plot nearly enough. But if you use the core plot function, it makes these awesome correlation features. So you can see which features correlate with each other. So keep in mind here, when you run this, you need to make a correlation matrix. And that's what I make right here. And then once you have that, it'll turn that matrix basically into a, a handy little plot. Okay, moving on to the fourth one. Performance analytics has chart.correlation. So we're gonna take the same thing. We aren't gonna do any core, we don't have to run the correlation method here or the correlation function. But what I am gonna do is we're gonna set histogram equal to true and it makes us swim this uh, correlation chart. So you can see here, you got a histogram of each of the features running down the diagonal. You can see the actual values of the correlation and it makes them higher when two features are correlated like sepal length and pedal width are highly correlated. Same thing here, pedal width and pedal length are very highly correlated, but there's actually sepal width is negatively correlated to the pedal width, which is interesting. So, and you can see how the data, these scatter plots are in here. So this is a really powerful chart, chart to analyze numeric data. All right, moving on to the fifth one, GG Alley. GG pairs function is one of my favorites. This is super amazing. It's actually kind of similar to uh, chart correlation. You see you've got something very similar here. It takes a little bit longer to run, but now you can see if you use this grouping column, so color by species, 
what I'm doing is in here I'm making the different groups here and you can see that the scatter plot it's making uh, it's making is allowing us to visualize some of the correlations in here and see exactly what's going on so another powerful type of plot in performance analytics the chart correlation and the ggpairs are very similar okay next what we're going to do is we're going to move on to a really powerful report generator this one's called data explorer create report and what I'm going to show you here is how to create this amazing data report. So it'll take a second to run. I'm going to run it here and then we'll come right back. Okay, and what that produced is a data profiling report. And it's actually saved it into my RTIPS folder. But here, let's check out what we've got in here. We've got percentages of different types of columns. We've got a discrete column, continuous column, missing columns complete rows and so on. You got your data structure here where you can click on these and you can see the, the different columns in here and what they are, what types they are. So we got character, numeric, missing data profile. Unfortunately, we don't have any missing data in this data set, but if you did have missing data, it would show up here. You got histograms, bar charts, QQ plots, correlation analysis, uh, principal component analysis, and, and more. So depending on your data, you'll get lots of different types of charts and, and uh, visual explore in this report. All right, so next one we're gonna move on to number seven is summary tools. And this one, um, I actually just did a separate RTIP on this. This is awesome. This is the one, this is the visualization that I showed you in the beginning. This is data frame summary report when you use the DF summary function. And what it does is for every feature, in there it'll if it's a numeric feature it'll give you kind of the histogram here if it's a character it'll give you the percentages and this is a bar chart of the showing the percentages and you can see if there's any missing data basically a lot of the common stuff that you just want to know about your data you can get from this data frame summary report very powerful okay so that was number seven summer tools let's move on to smart eda this is the eighth eda package that i really love this one makes another chart or another report, so we'll reconvene when it's, once it's completed. Okay, so this is the exploratory data analysis report that comes from Smart EDA, the package. And it's kind of similar, so I would say a Data Explorer is very similar to this, but this is a different variant. So you've got an overview of the data, it's got the you know different types of uh, data that you're dealing with, you know, number of rows, uh, number of columns, et cetera, uh, structure of the data, so this would be like the head of the data set. Uh, summary of the numeric variables. So you're going to see here, this is like your, your summary and we can uh, skip over here. We've got lots of numeric summaries and you can just keep going and going and going and going and going and going. So lots of really cool stuff and you can see the actual function that produced that. We can see distribution of numeric variables. So that's what we've got showing here. The next thing is the numeric viz. So you can see the function that made this, which is really nice. And you can see what the, the distribution, it's a KDE or a kernel density plot. So it's going to show us the, the distribution. Next thing is a scatter plot. So you can see again, exactly the code that was run to produce this. And you can see it's a, we're comparing two different variables. So sepal width, sepal length, and you can just move down through the data set for all the numeric variables. You're going to see lots and lots of scatter plots. Okay, now for the cut, categorical variables. So species is our categorical variable, and you can see that there's three different types, the frequency, the percentages, the cumulative percent, and so on. So very cool. Distribution of categorical variables, and so on. And that's the end of the report. So there you go. Again, an excellent exploratory data now support. Love, love, love this. Smart EDA, awesome package. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the janitor package. And janitor I actually use so than I used for exploratory data analysis. If you ever heard of the clean names function, use that a ton. But it all that package also includes this handy function called tabl, T-A-B-Y-L. Let's check it out. This is what that does. So if we take our species column from the iris data set, it's going to table or turn it into like a handy little frequency table. So number and, and percentages. So that can be really handy when you're dealing with lots of character data and be able to help you analyze your categorical data. All right, and then the last one, last but certainly not least, is the inspect DF package. This is great for inspecting. You can do all sorts of different functions like inspect. If you type in inspect DF colon colon, and you can see some of the functions, if I can spell it right, inspect DF. 
yeah, if you, if you type in inspect underscore, you can expect categorical, correlation, all of these different functions. We're, we'll check out the inspect NA function. Now there isn't any missing data, but if there was, this would be more interesting. If you do like inspect, uh, we'll do cat iris. And then if you just pipe it into show plot, whoops, iris is not found. Let's try that. And there we go. We've got the, we're looking for uh, missing values and it's just inspecting that plot. So lots of cool functionality there. Certainly last but not least, if you are interested in becoming a business scientist, that's the term that I have for somebody who can analyze business data, report results, do machine learning, do data analytics, and produce web applications and APIs and things that their company is going to run on to get return on investment from you. And if you want to become that expert in data science plus business, then I want to help you with that. So how I do that, I have a five course art track. If you want to learn more about that, I have a free masterclass that you can check out, learn about it. Uh, inside, you'll learn the 10 secrets to becoming a six figure business scientist. And I go through every single tool that I commonly use, the 10 biggest tools, the most important secrets. So check that out here. Links in the video notes. All right. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.